All right, so let's say you've made an amazing platform game and you're wanting to make some improvements. One of the coolest things that you can do is add a background to this. And we've got a node in Godot called the Parallax Background node, which will really help with that. All right, the first thing you want to do is download your assets. So I'm going to go to kenny.nl. Um, you're getting the link on the screen right now. I'm just going to download that um, background elements redux as a zip file I just extract that zip file and we're going to look in that zip file we see that there's a bunch of these awesome backgrounds i'm just going to drag and drop the entire backgrounds folder into my resources of godot now the next part is the key part so what we're going to do is add all the nodes that we need to our game so i'm adding a child node of the parallax background on top of that, we're going to put another child node of the parallax layer. And on top of that, we're putting a sprite 2D node. And that's where our background is going to actually go. So just drag and drop that onto the texture for the background. One of the key things that you need to change now is you need to go into the offset and you need to set centered to off in order for it to be top left of the texture. The next thing we need to set is the mirroring. Now we need to know the size of this texture. So mine's is 1024 by 1024. So we go back into the motion and set mirroring to exactly the same size as your texture. And you'll see that it doubles itself across. And there we have it, it's fully working right now. The texture works perfectly as you move across your level. But the power of the parallax background comes from being able to make it move slower. If you go to motion and change the scale to something less than one, it'll move slightly slower than, as you, than your camera is moving, which gives it a really cool effect. And as you can see, you can go both directions and the parallax background works perfectly. Lastly in mind, just to perfect it, I moved everything down so that it matched the parallax background so that I didn't have the gray areas appearing at the top and the bottom. So there you have it, cool parallax backgrounds for your platform game in Godot 4 in less than two and a half minutes.